Hey guys, it's Draken. I just got in the uh, the newest, and I think this is the best of the uh, the 2013 Super Soaker line. And I'm excited to try it out. I have a full thing of water so that I can fill this super goopy banana clip up. But this is, in my mind at least, the rough equivalent of the Alpha Trooper. It has the old Thunderstorm stock, which I think is really, really sweet. And it has this new way to change how you intend to uh, blast water at your opponents. And it's pump action, which I think is really, really efficient. So I'm excited to go ahead and start trying this out. It's claiming ranges of 25 feet and a maximum capacity of 0.6 liters. So on the back we have pump to fire, banana clip, detachable stock, which is even cooler than the thunderstorm stock in some ways. Because while it's in strike compatible with everything, it doesn't have the weird lightning bolt in it. So, they've also released this, which is kind of goofy. I don't like this. I think it's a worse version of this blaster because instead of getting the stock, you get a clip that you can put ice in and you can realistically put ice into any one of these clips. And the hydro pack, which I think is actually really, really cool and lets you do some, some quirky, fun things for conventions. So, without any further ado, we will uh, go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Well, that was easy. We have the new stock. And then all I think I'm looking for at this point is the banana clip. Lots of cardboard inserts. Alright, so the banana clip is hefty. The blaster fully assembled definitely needs the stock otherwise this is just way 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 too goofy the nozzles have a spring assist to click into place which is kinda cool and so there's really nothing left to do but test it out show you what we think the bonus I'll probably water my plants So 20 fluid ounces doesn't sound like a lot, but it looks to be a reasonable amount of water. Oh yeah, definitely. It's not on straight. It's really important with these new super soakers to align the cap properly, and I feel like I'm not getting it each time, so I may just have to go with it, but... No, never mind, that looks pretty tight. Alright, so there's valves here which connect to this valve here and then one releases pressure and one engages it. It clips very well, very similarly to end strike and the water is heavy enough that it drops without any assistance, which is convenient. So, it's probably going to take a couple of sprays just to fill the line. And so that's the scatter shot, which tells me that it's firing from the top. I'm going to go ahead and stand up. So that's pretty cool, kind of goofy. That's, I guess, shotgun mode. This is a triple shot. Then we can switch it one more. So this would be the most direct shot. And it's probably getting the most range. I feel like we're probably breaking about 30 feet. And it has the most power output, naturally. And then this looks like some sort of linear spray. And that's exactly what it is. It's a very gentle. I could like literally water my plants. <laughs> and you can see that it's not really impacting on the tree anywhere. And it looks like that has exhausted my clip. So maybe it isn't a ton of water. I'm not sure exactly how many shots I got. And I'm sure that the amount of firepower you get depends on which mode you have it in. But... I think that this is a really cool super soaker. I'm excited about the stock in particular for nerf applications. And I think that it's got a great shell, which would be interesting for any possible modifications. If Germ's still nerfed, I'm sure he'd want to do something with this. But we will see what the community comes up with. So, as always, 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my secondary channel, Everyday Alchemy. I post a lot of Magic the Gathering videos, and I'm really trying to get it off the ground. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your summer.